The coffee grinder morning wake up dance. Cut it what like right here, and then take this piece to turn it. Here, you hold this one. That kind of like works. Perfect. That goes extended in that. Yep. You only, you only need to provide them a couple inches of compost and they'll grow roots that will seek out its own nutrients. Yeah, we can put a rock up on top of this. We'll put a rock right here anyway. Okay. What do you think about all this? I like it a lot. So I, I think we should do take the electric fence out and do a second layer in front. So it's like a bottom layer and a top layer. Bottom layer of what? Of raised beds. A garden down there oh. and then a garden up here. Okay. We mm -hmm. could put the jasmine down there. That's what I'm saying. Or any kind of like leafy greens that don't need as much light. I mean two years from now the cherry trees will provide so much shade it will shade out all this. But 
at that point, we can take cuttings from all of this and transfer it to the permanent kitchen garden. But yeah, for now, this is see how they do too, because like I'm thinking, I mean, this whole area is gonna get sun, especially when we take all that out. So it might might shine through, and we might be like, oh, this is actually working really well here. Do you, we want to find the stepping stones in between each bed oh, before yeah. I lay the soil down? Yeah, I got one I picked out over here. Okay. Yeah, looks fine. <sighs> This one's called Jacob Klein Bebaum. Has your name in it? Jacob Mace what? Jacob Klein. Who, who's that? What's the name of this plant? What'd you find, buddy?
Load up. Good job, buddy. Got some crazy steam going now, and we got the dumplings with this incredible veggie, um, I would say stir fry I put in there, which is heavy on the bok choy and the chives, because that was from our garden. Let's get them in there and see how they do. Nicole down there killing it. What did you call yourself? I'm the fire bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going in there with the fire? Good. Oh yeah. It's raging. That's cool. Hey, so how is it lighting that fire without the deck being finished yet? Um, it's challenging. <laughs> you got a little bit of smoke going here. I know. <laughs> I know. But no mosquitoes. Um, there's a little bit, but... Homemade Chinese baozi in the bamboo steamers. Are these going to be good? Ni hao. Han hao. <laughs> okay, you have these have to be delicious because I've been to China before. <laughs> you had authentic Shanghai best freaking ones I've ever had in my life. So, all right, here you go. Let's go. Okay, fresh out of the steamers. Let's see how we did here. Ooh, looks like baozi. Looks good.
All right, this is a good example of how it goes sometimes, not just on YouTube, but off-grid um, with DIY projects in the gardening world. Uh, you make a mistake and you gotta start over again. <laughs> so I, I had an idea of making this out of smaller logs and fastening them together in a certain way that I thought of. I thought about digging them in the ground, which I can't do because it's so rocky here. And uh, I filmed for half a day me doing everything to show you guys here in the video blog and uh, it didn't work out with those smaller logs. I had to trash it to throw all that footage. And I ended up having to go with these medium logs, shorter. The original goal was to have a taller raised bed and go with a shorter one. It'll probably be temporary. We're gonna try out this bed and see what happens. And this area of Como Rebi gets 0% sun. The sun never hits this spot. And as a gardener, I've always been interested in what plants can grow in 100% shade. And when I used to garden in Arizona, that was really important because there's so much sun there. Sun is the most abundant resource. Here, rain and wood is the most abundant resource. So use the resources that you have in your area. So here I'm interested in if the sun disappears all winter and goes too low in the horizon to where it won't go through the trees, it won't create a Como Rebi then I have to have plants that are low light plants that will produce food that are perennials, which means they're alive for multiple years in a row and um, that can survive in those shady conditions and even will love those shady conditions. I used to only think like certain herbs, like mint, maybe even like red Russian kale, um, need a few hours a day of sun, but now I've found another plant that I'm gonna put in this bed that I'm hoping will fill up this entire bed and I'll be able to take cuttings from this mother bed and propagate this plant everywhere on Komorebi. So let me show you. Today's secret ingredient is wasabi.
So we have our solar panels charging. And then in this first tray here, we have raspberries for dehydrating. In this tray here, we have some arugula flowers. This one is some currants. In this tray here, we have we have some lemon thyme, and I'm also making some three mint with rose nectar sun tea. So there's three different types of mint in there, getting charged by the sun. And then in this tray, we have some elderberries. Why are you so excited right now? The biggest black cat raspberry bush I've ever found. Look at how many black caps are on there. And it's just the first wave of the ripe one. Yeah, there's tons. Oh my gosh. And just so many people know why I'm so excited. Like, next door is a thimbleberry and salmon. I'll show you the difference. The one farthest to the right, that's a salmon berry. And the one in the middle, looks like a thimble, is the red thimble berry. And the one on the left is the black cap raspberry. So soup. they almost look like sugar apples, don't they? Mm -hmm. Like an anona. Yeah. Superpowers. Load me up. Black cap, try it. Oh, wow, that's really good. Really good. Yeah. By far, different flavor than the other ones. This one's loaded. 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 Like our garden is just right there, and then this is what grows wild right next to it, so. Mmm. -hmm. See, and there's so many others. We can keep visiting this bush week after week, and there'll be ripe ones every visit. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm, that combination, the texture. So good. So good. Mm. Thank you, Nature. Here's your hammer. Thank you. That was like me tipping my hat. <laughs> Got it. Oh, okay. Hey, let's see that hammer. That's a... It's our custom Como Rebi hammer. Wow, made by Kinetic Customs. Let's look at how it's made the top. Super happy to be building with these amazing tools. Yeah, it's really cool. I also have this one. Wow. And it says Como Rebi on it. That one's really neat. Let's see the top. Oh my gosh, love it. Let's put it to good use. Okay, we're putting a GoPro mount on Kai. This thing is called Kai Cam. Kai Cam. Come on, Kai, are you gonna get some footage? Okay, it's on him. Oh, let's see what 
the day in the life of Kai <laughs> on Como Rebbe. Okay, Kai, here we go. We're gonna record. Okay, let's cut to Kai Cam. Come on, let's go. Come here. Come on. Okay, sit. Hey, sit. Go ahead. Good job, Puma. Good job, Puma. Good job. Thanks, guy. Thanks. Ready? Come here. Sit. Okay, go, go. Sit. Go here. This side stable and you pull yours open. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. I'm being Nicole. Oh my god, it's a little door. This is Where's the front? Obviously facing the golf area, right? Because you want to just walk into it here. Yeah. Here, yeah? Should we tell them our dirty secret? What's our dirty secret? So what's our, what's our dirty secret? Well, we've never upgraded our composting toilet situation since day one. We've built a lot of cool things out here so far in a year and a half, yeah. 18 months, but we're still using the same compost toilet for yeah. bathroom that we built on day one. Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen that episode, it'll be linked in one of these corners, but It's that... on the starting over video, episode one. Yeah, so that system is what we've been using. No walls, no roof, nothing. We've been battling the elements every time we use the bathroom, so. It's a compost toilet. Yeah. That's outside. Yeah. With the rain and the mosquitoes. Yeah. And you're still with me as my girlfriend. Yeah. It's <laughs> quite challenging. So we are building a outhouse. That will serve us, or if we ever host family or guests. Yeah. This will serve us as we build the off-grid log cabin cob washroom. Yeah. Okay. Because we just can't have that outdoor. No. <laughs> it's challenging. Okay. Thanks for sticking with me these, <laughs> this year and a half with that bathroom situation. Yeah. All right, let's finish it up. Let's finish it. Three more walls to go. And the roof. And, and the door. 